uh, in this project uh, this is our group uh, members uh, and in this project we are going to test the electronics components which we regularly use for designing the different uh, electronic circuits and for performing the practicals at college level uh, because we find uh, many uh, difficulties when we perform practicals and up after performing the practical we came to know that there was a uh, fault in transistor mosfet or jpet but we came to know that at after performing the practical and before so we have designed this project to test whether the component we are using is uh, good in good condition or it is faulty so uh, this is uh, okay uh, for before uh, performing this practical or this project we should know the basic knowledge about the ic triple five ic741 and general diode as you know ic741 is operational amplifier which is having um, this is the uh, this is pin diagram of ic741 which we have used here as to generate square waveform and then uh, same ic we have used here as comparator as uh, differentiator and as subtractor similarly this ic triple five is widely used or famous ic for ic triple five generating square wave or generating the frequencies from 0 1 hertz to 600 600 kilohertz this is the famous ic and we have used here in a stable mode to generate a square wave then third component mainly or widely used is uh, here in project is a general diode we know general diode for different voltage rating gives the fixed voltage drop across them so if you know all the basic uh, of, of all these th three components you can easily perform or understand the project uh, then we will see this is the system level schematic of our project this is a power supply which is given to each of the circuit we have designed this all the diode tester general diode tester op amp tester bjt tester separately and power supply is given to separate because suppose one of the circuitry is have become faulty or some fault occur in there that that circuit then we can easily remove that part and again uh, repair that and again mount there so we have designed all the circuits separately and this power supply section is given to given to all of them then we'll move further the first first uh, circuit tester that is the transistor tester we'll see the proteus simulation or proteus in proteus how we have designed this uh, let us see we have used here ic triple five in a stable mode and this is the transistor which we are going to test this is the transistor which we have to test and they, here we see we i am going to run this you can see that when ic triple five is uh, works in a stable mode it generates square wave and during square wave during the positive cycle of if the transistor is good during positive cycle it should conduct and during negative cycle it should uh, in remain in cut off region cut off region in the same way when positive cycle is given to base of the transistor led is getting on and due to after at the zero <coughs> cycle or negative cycle led is getting off so in this way we are going to test whether this ic triple five is good or bad suppose this uh sorry uh bc547 is good or bad suppose uh, there may be a fault in bc547 that means it may be either open circuited or it may be a closed uh, sorry short circuited let's we will short one of the two terminals of this bc547 let's check what happens i am going to shorting this terminal one minute oh, yes uh, now we will see what happens here when i have shorted collector and emitter junction of this bc 5 percent we are not getting the toggling effect of the led that is the collector current is directly given to the emitter and there is <coughs> square continuously uh, led is on so the transistor we can say that transistor is short circuited then other fault may occur in this bc 5 percent that any one of the two terminals maybe open circuited that is in proteus here we can directly uh, remove the connection and we can see that the led will continuously remain off the led will remain sorry led will remain continuously off so there will be there will 
in this way we can say that transistor is faulty uh, then we uh, then we will move further to the next circuit uh, that is mosfet tester uh, before uh, this we will i will tell you uh, mosfet this enhancement type device which works in uh, so mosfet is enhancement and depletion mode both a type of device which works when some am amount of voltage is given to that for that voltage is required to create inversion channel after creation of inversion channel if suppose mosfet is of n type then electron inversion channel gets created there and after creation of channel the conduction start and for creation of that channel we require some amount of voltage uh, some amount of voltage let's see the working of how n and p channel mosfet uh, for p channel mosfet we have to give a negative supply and for p uh, n channel mosfet we have to give positive supply this is the switch to switch which uh, switches or changes between p type and n type let's see it's working this is the mosfet which is which is to be tested we can see, you can see here uh, you can see here for the initially voltage across the base, gate gate of the mosfet is zero let's see here uh, mosfet voltage is zero and as as i am going to increase in the voltage across the gate the inversion channel is getting starting to create it. and as inversion channel is created the brightness of the led that is conducting mosfet is getting in the conduction state so uh, led is getting on and after some particular voltage it gets to the saturation level and no change in current takes place so it will remain continuously on in this way you can test the mosfet whether it is working or not suppose mosfet is uh, not good then any one of the channels you we can short uh, that is drain and gate which are sorted that is they are connected to the ground they are connected to ground let we will see here this is connection given to the ground so now we will see what happens here as drain is directly connected to ground there always there will be <coughs> channel is always created and no need to add zero voltage also the voltage is given directly to the led so after when shorting is takes place there is no need to create an inversion channel and add zero voltage also and i am also uh, when increasing the voltage the led is continuously on so mosfet is shorted it is continuously in on state and then the third fault may be here that it may be open circuited and in open circuit it will not conduct so this is the test for mosfet then we will move further for the next uh, component testing that is diode tester <coughs> Uh, similar to BC547 uh, in diode tester also what we have did here is we have used IC741 to create generate a square wave you can see here IC741 this charging and uh, this is the main capacitor leading taking the lead role in generating the square wave this capacitor <coughs> charges and discha discharges through uh, this resistor and generates square wave and during when square wave is given to the diode this is the diode which is to be tested so if diode is uh, good condition suppose uh, a user or student who is going to testing this diode this uh, <coughs> circuit also tells the polarity of the diode because in forward bias this led n1 will be conducting and in, in reverse bias this will be conducting uh, then we will see this circuit will generate a square wave and given to the given to the diode during positive half cycle as you all know diode always conducts in forward bias and it is open circuit in reverse bias so i am going to <coughs> make simulation of this circuit you can see here uh, this circuit is will going to produce a square wave and which will be given to the uh, given to diode and during positive cycle this led will be in on state and during uh, negative cycle uh, this second led will be on on state uh, let's see this taking some time simulation uh, we'll wait for <coughs> okay similar <coughs> similarly we have did here the Jenner diode tester uh, in which what uh, ic741 as i told you before is you this is the diode general diode to be tested we have to connect 
across this terminal as i have already told to you general diode across the general diode we get the fixed voltage drop you can see here 5.05 457 volt is the fixed voltage drop we are getting across this general diode and which is applied to the positive terminal of the 741 and what we have did here is just voltage divider and this whole divider voltage that is variable voltage is given to negative terminal of 741 and at what at which point the voltage across the negative terminal will be equal to that of general voltage drop the output of the comparator which is used 741 as comparator will be off and at the point which point just at which point the comparator or LED gets off we have to test that voltage and check whether this voltage is the breakdown voltage of the general or not you can see here <coughs> 5.09 at that voltage the LED has got off so and this is the breakdown voltage so this dinner which we have tested i have tested is in good condition and for uh, dinner which is not working there may be different breakdown voltage or different potentiometer voltage at which led may be up and so according to that that dinner we have to tell uh, or we have to justify whether the dinner is working or not up to uh, till up to we have tested all the components in proteus simulation now we have designed this actually in uh, hardware and now we'll uh, move to our project enclosure uh, how we have designed it this is our top view of our project enclosure we have did here four circuits this is a uh, top view this is the front view this is the testing of bjt this is the terminals where we have to uh, connect the bjt which we is to test this is dinner across this dinner we have to uh, cross these wires where our socket we have to uh, use which is or connect with Jinnar is to be tested this is the back view here i have connect, uh, did circuitry for testing of jpet and mosfet in this way we have did the testing of electronics components now we will move towards the real time testing of components on our hardware project thank you hello friends this is the electronics component uh, tester circuit uh, in which JFET, MOSFET, BJT and Zinner uh, are to be tested. Now let's see it's working. For this we switch on the power supply. That is it is a battery operated circuit in which first of all we will see JFET. Uh, hi friends here we can see we know the jpet is deflection mode depletion mode device which uh, which is uh, already channel is already created in jpet at zero volt so we can see here we have connected here jpet and uh, we are here wearing the potentiometer and we have did here uh, uh, drain to source voltage is varied and as drain to source voltage is varied uh, it is increasing the pinch up region is getting created and so the conduction flow of electrons will block and LED will get up we can you can see here and as voltage I am decreasing the pinch up region is getting back and so conduction is starting so this is the working of JPET now we will see how MOSFET is tested Uh, hi friends, uh, in this MOSFET, MOSFET is enhancement mode device and for the MOSFET to work, we have to first create a channel and then after creation of channel, it will uh, conduct. Uh, so this is N channel IRF540 MOSFET, which we, uh, we now we have did here, uh, gate and source is connected to ground. So uh, total control of the MOSFET is on uh, gate voltage. Uh, as gate voltage is increased, the drain saturation current will change. Now we ca you can see here. As I am increasing uh, gate voltage, uh, as I am increasing gate voltage, channel is getting created. Uh, you can see here, channel is created. And as once channel is created, if we increase the uh, voltage, the current remains same saturation current. There is no effect on the current. So in this way we can, we can test the MOSFET, if MOSFET is faulty, that is one of the terminals are shorted, then there will not be formation of a uh, uh, channel, you can see here, and the LED will be off. In this way MOSFET is tested. Uh, by shorting gate and source gate terminal. And source, yes. uh, if we short the uh, um, drain and 
source terminal then uh, led will remain on continuously mm -hmm. oh. there will not be uh, channel right. creation and anything because all the voltage applied to drain will be directly appear on grid so continuously channel is created now we will see uh, next circuit that is uh, bjt tester uh, now uh, in bj in in bjt ic ic triple five is used and which is uh, operated in a stable uh, mode uh, a stable mode is free running mode uh, that's where uh, the continuous pulse uh, is created at the output side and it is given to the transistor uh, hence you can at, see here uh, yellow bjt is connected which is to be tested and as port is varied the frequency that is rate of change of uh, 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 led toggle will get change and uh, this circuit is somewhat uh, not this it is not stable so it is given you can see uh, when bjt is in good condi condition then uh, led uh, continuously, continuously toggles. toggles and when it with it is shorted then you can, we will uh, short one of the collector and drain terminal sorry collector and emitter then there will be continuous so with uh, instead of uh, flashing instead of uh, toggling led will flow continuously yeah. if we short the uh, collector and, and emitter base and emitter then led will not blow. No, no, no. so now test uh, short the gate and uh, base and emitter Yes, now this is uh, Zener, Zener Dower tester. Uh, if we increase the port uh, here, I see I see a seven four one is used as comparator. So uh, the, the uh, Zener voltage is given to the positive uh, non. Positive. Uh, positive no, no. terminal of I see seven four one, and uh, hence uh, VP. When VP greater than VN. Uh, the LED glows and when v VP less than VN, LED uh, yeah. will not glow. Let's check. Thank you. Thank you.